everyone. Uh, boner app of I Suck Sticks Heart Cinema. Uh, I hope we don't alienate the very small pe- minority amount of people who aren't our own wrestling friends and are listening to this podcast. For actual movie stuff. For actual movie stuff. But tonight is our special WrestleMania preview show. So this this is for our wrestling friends and probably only our wrestling friends. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the WrestleMania theme at the beginning of the episode that we had to search for by searching Linda McMahon theme, which always pisses me off. But well, it was Scott, Linda McMahon. There's a new show. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you weren't lying on a bed when you said that. What would have been less upsetting? What is your favorite Linda McMahon moment? Oh, when she rose from the wheelchair at uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. the balls at Mania yeah. Seventeen. That's yeah. It was a miracle. Yeah. A miracle. That's a win. That's not the, uh, not her nineteen eighties miracle. Not her sitting in the wheelchair watching Vince mouth <laughs> fuck Trish Stratus. <laughs> <laughs> the most uncomfortable moment of her life. How did she not win the Senate race? <laughs> The best moment of Vince's life. Oh, you, you know, mean you mean how did she not win the Senate race? <sighs> <laughs> the, the most physical, most, oh, the most uh, saddening such a noise. Sad noise, Vince. <laughs> he wanted it so bad. <laughs> you know, like people, like people have made fun of like the Senate race and losing the Senate race stuff, but. I don't think we're giving it as much shit as it deserves. <laughs> like that, like the two unsuccessful like Senate bids, way bigger money losers than the XFL, which is like a huge punchline. Everybody so, knows them for losing money on the XFL, yeah, but nobody this says was anything worse. about this. This was worse than the XFL. Well, maybe because this was, was a football league. I was gonna say, this was more of a legitimate business expense, right? Whereas you are making a league to compete with one of the like largest grossing things in the world, the sure. NFL. This is trying to like be in charge of a seat in the Senate. Yeah, well, on, on paper it's more legitimate, but basically both of them were a fool's errand. Because, <laughs> like... It's Linda McMahon. You're married to Vince fucking McMahon. You're not going to win anything publicly voted ever. She might have won something had she never appeared on WWE TV. Maybe. 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 Because maybe. That's a strong maybe. Because then she wouldn't be directly associated. Associated, yeah. But because she was on it for, like, yeah. on and off for, what, yeah, to actually seven be, years? Yeah, to actually be involved with the product, it's, yeah, it's never going to work. Well, they learned that the hard way. Twice. Twice. Because the first time just didn't sink in enough, I guess. No. No, they couldn't. They couldn't have fucked up anymore. Yeah. Um. So as you've heard, uh, Scott Hansen sitting to my right. Yep. Kelly Confirmed. Summers sitting to, to my, my left, to my right to Scott's right, and myself. Now, Darian. with that information, draw a picture of our yes. configuration and send it in to <laughs> suck my wolf dick <laughs> at angelfire dot com. That's right. Are you still running that, Kelly? You're still getting regular emails. Oh yeah. Good, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> I'm the only Angel Fire website on, <laughs> online still. <laughs> on the internet. Um, so, we decided to do this because Scott and I today were reviewing past WrestleManias and questioning whether or not one of the main events or the title matches on this, WrestleMania 29, is the worst WrestleMania title match of all time. And the answer is... Yes! Yes. It is. It is the worst. But we'll get to that. We're going to go from the bottom. All in due time. And the, the reason, kind of the reason this came up is because we were discussing uh, not watching WrestleMania. Um, I think we're going to because... It's Mania. It's Mania and we've... It, it's 100% out of obligation at this point. But uh, I, I've seen every Mania live since 12... Uh, Drew has... I think I'm 15. 15, Kelly? Uh, I'd say since 20. Since 20, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we've seen a lot, and uh, most of them aren't that good, actually. Uh, no. We uh, we were going through stuff. The As we could find, the last uh, real good mania was uh, 20 or 21. Ever since that, there's been... Uh, <laughs> 
correct sound effect. There's been there's usually one really good match and a bunch of shit. Sometimes you get one really good match and a couple of decent good matches. No, matches. The, the way we looked at it is there was a period where there were uh, two Angle Michaels matches. There was what, one Angle Michaels. Sorry, one Angle Michaels, two Taker two Michaels, Michaels, and two Triple H Taker. Taker, yeah. So there's. Five years right there that you're guaranteed one good match, really good match. Yeah, and in between there was uh, Sean Sean Flair, which was really good. And I'm sorry, uh, I love you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love you. And yeah, like for, for yeah for a while you were pretty much always guaranteed one like great match, and then just hopefully a couple others would be good. Uh, but you do it, yeah, because we have to go back yeah almost ten years to get like a great mania. Yeah. Um, and for a while they they had a good streak because. Um, like, 17, 19, 20, so three out of four years, were great WrestleManias. Like, three of the best ever. 18 would have would have been better had they not completely fucked up the main event. Oh, 18's a bad main event. Triple H, oh, Jericho, no nobody cares. And that is the beginning of, like Scott and I had said earlier, the beginning of Triple the, H kills everyone. Triple H kills every main roster face he can in the next year and a half, two I don't, years. I don't know if Triple H lost a match until John Cena in 2006 <laughs> after that. <laughs> <laughs> and like, just think, think about it too. Is like, didn't he drop the belt though to Hogan after that? Uh, he did. He drop it to Hogan or Taker, and and then I think he dropped it to Hogan. And Hogan, and Hogan to, to Taker. Taker. Okay, yeah. yeah. But if you look at that, so so Trips comes back from his fucking injury. Yeah, wins the rumble. Yeah, uh, has a horrible match with Jericho. Yeah, then proceeds to beat everybody. Yeah, and then can you even remember his WrestleMania nineteen match? Because him versus Booker T. I can't. I can only because I was there live. Because there are some great matches on that card, and then that is the least important match on that entire card. Yeah, it meant <laughs> nothing. It ranked slightly below uh, Matt Hardy versus Rey Mysterio yeah, it, Jr. Oh, it meant nothing. With you mean with the pedigree lie on the ground for five minutes? Oh man, all over. Yeah. Cover him one two three and completely we, shit all over Booker T. We look after that finish. We looked at each other in stunned silence because we're like, okay, so he's doing the thing where he hits a pedigree, takes too long to finish, and now we get a little more finishing sequence. Nope, just pinned him after like thirty seconds and made Booker T look like a fucking chump. Da, is it? Am I remembering incorrectly? Does Booker do a very bad Harlem hangover? hangover? Probably the last one he ever did. Yeah. Yeah. He, didn't he, like, almost sit on Tripp's face? Yeah. 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 I don't know, that was a pretty bad, uh... And, and then everything... All Hangover is a weird move in general. It is. Yeah. But he they had to spice him up in WCW, and mm-hmm. then when he got more muscular because Vince likes some but beefy... <laughs> good like beef. Couldn't exactly do it. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah. God bless him for trying. But yeah, that was uh, not the best match on a good show. No. Completely forgettable title match. Yeah, probably maybe, maybe the second worst. Probably title would match. rank up there for um, hey. yeah, on, on paper worst title matches. Hulk Hogan, Sergeant Slaughter. Hogan Slaughter wasn't good. I feel like during that finish, Larry Zabisco is somewhere rubbing his hands. <laughs> <Yes>. Good, good, <laughs> good. Stall my pretties. <laughs> Stall. <laughs> So, oh boy. what we're saying is between WrestleMania 21 and 28, not a lot of good things You pretty on. much get one real good match a show. Yeah. So this year... Here's looking, the thing, we don't know if we're getting it this year. <laughs> well, looking, looking at a ten, uh, the, te, the card they've got in place here... It's gonna be an interesting. It's been one. <laughs> it's gonna that's, be. That's that's my famous two word impression <laughs> of the bare naked ladies. Or it's been. <laughs> you can say that, and everyone knows what you're talking about. <laughs> and you're not. We're not gonna have to pay a uh, copyright because nope. you didn't sing enough of it. Nope, did not. So we'll start. I'm looking at the tentative card because it'll obviously switch around on the actual pay per view. Oh, yeah. oh, and we should also say part of the reason we're doing this is because Kelly doesn't know a, he knows like the main stuff. He, he knows from maybe Mania. three matches. Yeah, the doesn't know a lot of the card from Mania. And the reason we're doing this is because we want to capture his reactions to the matches live and pre- and preserve them for posterity's sake, I guess. <laughs> Um, For our he, own amusement. Yeah, because he's probably going to get mad at a lot of them. <laughs> I'm hoping he'll storm out at one point. Yeah. Which I don't know that any of these matches are that bad that they'll make him storm out, but I hope I don't know. Can. One of them sort of is. Not because it's just so... Not because particularly bad in quality. Well, maybe. 
it's sort of untested, but uh, just because it's such a weird WrestleMania match. <laughs> Okay, well, we'll Kelly doesn't know what we're talking about. We'll start <laughs> very from the exciting. bottom, and is we'll it, work our way it, towards the top, theoretically is, in order of importance on the card. Kelly's got a question. Is this going to be the Bucky Larson of WrestleManias, <laughs> where I slide out of my seat? It's possible. <laughs> you, just, you get lower, you get closer to the floor with every match. You're just writhing around by Cena Rock. <laughs> so, the the tentative open opening match, although it won't be because it'll just, get moved around. Well, no, the opener is probably going to be the other world title match. That's true. That's, how, that's usually how they started. But past I, years. I'm reading it off this list of the, of the matches. It's basically in order of importance, right? Yeah. So yeah. from the bottom up, uh, the very first match is an eight person mixed tag match. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Jesus. Okay. Keep in mind, this is not a pre show match. This is on. This is on the pay per view. In theory, a, a portion of the money you pay for WrestleMania Kelly. is going to this match. Kelly. <laughs> Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels. Bret Hart, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Okay. They've been on WrestleManias. Yeah. But this match <laughs> is on WrestleMania. I'm get, I can't. I'm, <laughs> my head is starting to hurt. What? On one side of this I'm, eight person tag. I go heels first. You have the team of Damian Sandow and Cody Rhodes. Rhodes Scholars. Okay. Rhodes An Scholars. enjoyable mid card heel team. Sure. Not bad. Sure. Not bad at all. Teaming with the Bella Twins. Okay. Who have recently returned on her heels. Yeah. Their opponents... I also wrote the half of a spicy fan fiction to leave on Chewie's computer. <laughs> <laughs> their opponents... Their opponents, on the face side, are the team of tons of funk. What is tons of funk? Brodus Clay, the Funkasaurus, and Tensai. <laughs> Also known as A Train. Okay, well. It's... Still in full Tensai gear. Tattoo across face and everything. But now as a dancing But face. now he's the hip hop hippo again. <laughs> but well... still as a Japanese warlord. Wait a second. Didn't they do something with him where he was wearing, like, lingerie? Yes, yes. on a Raw. Yeah. What I the fuck was that about? I don't know. He, he, lost, still doing that? he lost a thing. No, he wears regular gear. I think the lingerie was one time. But he's in a singlet okay, now, right? Well, he's in a singlet now. Yeah. Well, Albert has danced before, so that... Pop Hippo. That. And their female tag team partners. The Funkadactyls. The Funkadactyls. <laughs> who are Brodus Clay's dancer girls, who, if I'm not... If I'm incorrect, are not actually trained wrestlers. Uh, one is and is actually pretty decent. The other is uncarryable. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Kelly, this is on WrestleMania. Well... Tons of funk, Kelly, is on WrestleMania. Okay, okay, wait a second. Their combined weight is a ton. Brutus Clay was actually on last year's WrestleMania in a promo, <laughs> in a live promo, <laughs> and dance number yeah. involving his fake mother. <laughs> yes. And that was a thing. Somebody called his mama. What? Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Isn't the pre-show match uh, Claudio and... I R think... And R-Truth? Unconfirmed. Unconfirmed, but, 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 most, but most likely. Most likely. Do. But they're not... They're not on the pay-per-view. Claudio Castagnoli, one of the best wrestlers in the company and world, uh, no, will not be on the pay-per-view. So what's the point of having titles if you're not going to defend them on the biggest Here's, pay-per-view? Actually, this was a discussion on, I can't remember if it was, no, it was Wrestling Observer, not Brian and Vinny. Um, but the, literally the point of the mid-card titles, the IC in the US, um, if you, like, because I, I think they looked up Wade Barrett's record. It's like 9 and 12 since he won the title. Mm -hmm. The point of the mid-card titles is to have other people beat them in non-title matches to get over. Because uh. that because they beat a person with a title. Mm -hmm. That's literally the point of the mid-card titles. So having a mid-card title is actually a detriment to your career. But also, too, doesn't it seem like they are under the impression... Or not the, under the impression. The way that they book the company now is... They're all about the like the champion or the number one contender loses 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 yes. loses loses you, wins. You lose until you win. Like th that seems to be what their formula is. Yeah, because like Dol would, Dolph Ziggler has yeah. the money in the bank and he hasn't won a match since a year that since started with he nineteen. Won the money in the. I'm gonna say that was his last win. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. that was the last thing he did. And yeah, like, he has done nothing but job. And like Cena. Almost yeah. all of last year, job, job, yeah, and now he's going to win the now he's in the now he's going to win the world title <laughs> of WrestleMania. Yeah, you lose until you win. That's their booking, and it's it's completely counterproductive because the one thing like 
you like wrestling you can't always pattern after UFC. But the one thing UFC does right is the champion wins until he's not the champion anymore and the person who gets the title shot is the person who has done nothing but win yeah. and that's why he's getting a title shot like you put the two biggest winners against each other you don't job a guy out until he but wins the title Scott. Cena won when it counted <sighs> Scott that's also reality <laughs> yeah okay, and the WWE is not created from reality I understand prove it <laughs> what? You're telling me that a Japanese warlord doesn't dance with a fat dinosaur man, <laughs> who is and the the Japanese warlord is white. Yes, correct. And has a Pierce wiener. <laughs> has a Pierce wiener. <laughs> um, okay, Scott. What 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 star rating do you give this match? Uh, Expect uh, from this. Uh, are we pre pre star rating these We're matches? Pre star rating this, and we will compare it to after. Um, it, are the ratings on a scale of one to funk? One to funk. I will give this funk. <laughs> you can you can rate it based on uh, entertainment aspect of it, uh-huh. and how much you're going to hate yourself after watching. <laughs> uh, the self loathing factor. I have a pill that I'm prepared to scream in at some point. <laughs> Uh, it's I don't know it's it's gonna be it's gonna be one star like there it's it's not gonna be good. It, it is absolutely a one star match, Kelly. Half a star. Kelly says half a star. Not even that. that. Here's the thing. I like Sando. I like Rhodes. Yeah, I do like them. Yeah, I I do actually. I yeah. don't hate Brodus Clay or Tensai. I don't have anything for or against them. Yeah. My only concern is the so ladies. you have <laughs> one female who is apparently, according to Scott, a decent worker. Yeah. And an uncarryable worker. Yeah. Against two of the worst female wrestlers that they have in Bellas the company. Bellas are bad. So I can only imagine this match will be, including entrances, six minutes. It'll be short. Yeah. And and take take into account that Bruce Clay's entrance is like five minutes. Long. It's most of that time. So. Yeah. It's still good for even. Parties the- all around. <laughs> parties all around. The the time it has for the time they actually do stuff, it's probably going to be a mess. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of goofy silliness, and that's about all you expect from that match. Yeah. Well, so well, I'm angry. So so the next match, uh, tentatively on this card, is the singles match for the Intercontinental Championship, which will be the uh, the challenger face Miz. Ugh. <laughs> versus champion Wade Barrett. Currently nine and twelve. Currently as nine a and champion. 12, currently. <laughs> yeah. Um, I I honestly expect this match to be fucking terrible. I will file this match under who gives a shit. I will file this match under I don't want to give it a star rating because I'm going to not pay attention to it. I will also I will be talking during this match. You will be I'll, arguing with Tristan over why Wade Barrett is the greatest wrestler. I will be arguing with your dumb Mark friend. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and Kelly's angry. I will not be paying attention. I do. I at least appreciate that uh, Miz's career is going in the right direction. Yep. Whereas he main evented two years ago and is on a, a, who, a who cares Christ. match. This yeah. Remember remember when the Miz main evented WrestleMania? The guy who couldn't do a figure four. Oh man, it's his finisher. Well, here's yeah. the thing. He, no, there's he, no defense. He may have main evented a WrestleMania, but he may have evented the WrestleMania that was just a setup for the for next, the next year's WrestleMania. WrestleMania. It doesn't matter. It's still a main event. It's of still Mania. on the books. And like, honestly, I know that Ric Flair didn't want to work for TNA anymore, but when you come to the E and the first thing they say is, Rick, we're going to give your move to the shittiest worker in the company. You're going to put over this piece of shit. You are going to try and put a shit worker over. By being his mentor. Yeah. And I love that people try to defend the Miz by saying, oh, well, he's really good on the mic. I don't... That's he's not, not he's even not. really he's, that good on no, the mic. No, just... Okay, here's the thing. Not everyone who cuts promos like the Miz is char- is charismatic. You you don't automatically become charismatic by doing those kind of promos. Some people... Like, anyone can say those words. That doesn't mean everyone can say them well. And he... Doesn't say him that well. <laughs> like he, like he has like voice inflection and stuff, but it's nothing he says is convincing. No. Is no. is the is the main thing with him? And his it, wrestling is it, the least convincing. It yeah. seems like he's just he's just reading the script. Yeah, like even the, like he's been he's been wrestling for a long time. Right? Like when did he when did he start? Like oh four or five? Oh uh, five. Okay, he was he was in that tough enough, tough right? Enough. So that was one million dollars. So, yeah, which ended that that rumble oh five. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so like eight years. But it's like, despite all that experience, and like, and he's been he's been full time for eight years. Mm-hmm. 
uh, despite all that experience, he still seems like the guy from the real world playing wrestler. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And not a wrestler. Like, he never quite figured it out. How is, he, is he convincing. still the most hated guy in the, in the company? Like, he, in the back? You guys he, still he, hate him? He, he's not liked. Hmm. And I don't think him main eventing Mania two years ago helped anyone's opinion of him. Yeah, but I, f- I would feel like now that he's kind of had the air taken out of his tires and he's moved down the ladder... He's probably caught less heat now. The guys probably don't hate him as much? Probably not. Uh, so, star rating? Um, Barrett's all right. I, I have no specific quarrel with Barrett. My um, only quarrel with Barrett is that he has one of the most painful finishers. <laughs> that the, it, the he's, 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 slam he's got a new, new finisher now. Oh, maybe that's why. Three, it's a raging Sh- forearm. Short arm elbow. Short arm elbow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is he going to catch heat with uh, Cassius Ono? <laughs> well, he's on TV and Ono's not. So <laughs> Ono's probably going to end up catching heat with him, <laughs> even though he's been doing it for 10 years. Um... Yeah, so Barrett's pretty good. And I think Barrett... Barrett, Well, both guys technically will work hard because it's Mania. One will work well. (laughs) Um, So I I would say uh, two and a quarter. Uh, I I hate the Miz so goddamn much. Miz, I'll I'll say Miz on his best day can probably have a three-star match. I don't think this will be his best day. I think it'll be a... I think it'll be a, a fine day... By Miz standards, yeah. which I think is around two and a quarter. I'll say two. I will give it a generous two. And I mean, be- yeah, generous. because Wade Barrett is not bad. Yeah, he's I not terrible. I don't, I don't love but Wade Barrett. But at I the same time, him. the Miz is not a good face. No. So, trying to keep the audience entertained, we by have a heel and a guy who should be a heel. We have three terrible faces on this show. Yes, there are several bad faces. Three of, like, the wor- well, easily the three worst faces in the biz right now, and probably among all time. Yes. Um, we'll get to them. So the, We've hit one so far. The next match on this card uh, is Chris Jericho, <laughs> okay, who Kelly likes, Scott likes, and I like, Yeah. versus the debuting, very first match in the company, Oh no. Fandango. <laughs> Can you believe? <laughs> Can you believe that's happening at WrestleMania? Like I saw the like <laughs> Is this the is this probably one of the first debut matches on WrestleMania? They do not do a lot of debuts on WrestleMania. <laughs> Fandango. Okay, do you remember, for, do you remember, first of all, you're saying his name wrong. I'm sorry, I'm saying his name wrong. It's Fandango. <laughs> and I, I'm... <laughs> Kelly is pretending to bash his brains in on a pillow. I don't know if you've seen much of him on TV, but... I've seen some snippets. His, his entire gimmick is telling people they're saying his name wrong. And making them say it right. And then they don't say it right, and then he leaves and doesn't wrestle. That's his gimmick. <laughs> Kelly punched the wall and hurt his knuckles. I gotta give a running commentary of the visuals here. So, Kelly, are you... What? Are you, what do you want? <laughs> what do you want from me? Are you familiar with a man named Johnny Curtis? What if I told you that he won season four of NXT that nobody ever watched? Was that the one with all the girls? No. The <laughs> no, that was the one that a girl won. <laughs> I don't... Johnny Curtis does not ring any bells. Anyway, he won season four of NXT he and was nobody in, He was in FCW for a while and nobody gave a fuck. And then he's like the most generic guy. He's a white guy. An average sized white guy. Yep. Like 6'1", maybe. 6'1", like 220. 15, 220. He's a, he's, he's a nobody. He looks, yeah, he's, he's every cookie cutter FCW guy, yeah. basically. Not anymore, because now they're all about gimmicks. Yeah. Fandango. So, anyways, his gimmick is that he is a, like, what, Latin dancer? Yeah, he's a Dancing with the Stars guy. Kelly, he's... What? He's Latin lover Eric, Eric Angle. Okay, I like Latin lover Eric Angle. <laughs> okay, he does have one thing going for him. He's, uh, he's got, like, a dancing girl of L.A. Yeah. She's a babe. I'm gonna say he's got one thing going for him, and that's that he gets to wrestle with Jericho on Mania, and if anybody can make him look good, it's probably Jericho. Here's the thing with Jericho. Since he came back at the Royal Rumble, he has literally had the best match on every single show. Like, two, He's not screwing around anymore. He's not screwing around. Two, like, two matches per week on television, 
Jericho always has the best match. So did like the is the people? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> the people who is your brain exploding? Yes. The, I think the, there's blood coming out of your the ears. The fucking creative team that comes up with these gimmicks, like who are the ad wizards that came up with this one? <laughs> <laughs> like. Are they just, like, grabbing guys from, like, Mad TV when it fell apart? And, like, <laughs> what's funny? I don't know. A guy who has a name that people say wrong, and then he has to correct it all the time. I don't really get the chuckles. Where's Norman? <laughs> also, he likes dancing. <laughs> Literally, that's his gimmick. He dances and whines about his name. Yeah. Remember when his name was Fandango? My... Yes, okay. What? Okay, <laughs> used okay. To be... Fandango. They had two O's in it. They're very free, because they aired, like... Margu! <laughs> they aired promos for him. I, I was in Rhode Island at the time, watching... Cause there's a group of guys there that watches Raw every single week, and we were we watching call it. call them Losers. Losers, I believe, is their technical name. And they're... In between two matches, there was this promo, and it was like the silhouette of a dancing guy, and we're like, what is all this? And it was like one letter at a time, and each letter stood for something, it was like, F, fabulous, A, asshole. <laughs> or, it might have been fabulous asshole, I don't know. He probably does have a fabulous asshole. <laughs> um, and then, and as I spelled it out, we're like, I think they did one letter too many from the word we were... Assuming, and then they showed it all on the screen at once, and it was Fandango with two O's, and we're like, that sounds disgusting. <laughs> Fandango? Fandango. It truly is fabulous asshole. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that, I guess they, like, I don't know, like, okay, they made the thing, so they had to have meant it, right? They couldn't have done it by no, accident. There's no way that they fucked So his name, and... at one point, really was Fandango, and then they're like, oh, wait. We can't do that. <laughs> so then the next week it was Fandango. I don't know if like just that week they hadn't cleared the rights with like Fan Fandango like the movie ticket online yeah. thing or what, but it was weird. But at any rate, and they and this was um, this was the first week of November. Yeah, and he has not wrestled yet. No, it is now just about April. It, it will be April when he yeah. wrestles. Yeah, five, <sighs> five months of promos. Five months of promos and five and, and about. Two, three, months. or four weeks of appearances. Two really, two months? No, a month. Yeah, one month. <laughs> one month of him coming out. Supposed to have a match. Guy can't ring it out. She can't pronounce his name. F corrects him. Storms out. Leaves. Yeah. Fucking dumb. Yeah. Um. Okay. And because he and then he did. I guess two weeks ago he did a thing backstage with Jericho. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, so they're gonna do him versus Jericho next week. Mm -hmm. Nope. <laughs> WrestleMania! Biggest show of them all. Big show of the year. Yeah. Why couldn't, couldn't believe it. So anyway, there you have it. Jericho Fandango. Here's the thing. I don't know that I've seen enough of Johnny Curtis... I've seen zero Johnny to Curtis. ...to determine whether or not he's a shitty worker. Jericho is in the match. Jericho can usually have good yeah, matches. I know Curtis anybody. isn't a great worker, because I've heard... And I would have heard something. Um, but yeah, I don't know where he ranges between shitty to average. I'm going to say... Hopefully average. I'm going to say with Jericho in the ring, and I'm sure that him and Jericho have had time to talk it out. Yeah. I will say a very generous two and a half stars. Mainly based solely on Jericho. I'm going three. Uh, just because I know nothing of Curtis. He, I, He's a professional wrestler, so I assume he's... and And he's not like... The great Kali or something. He's not like a plodding mass. <laughs> so like he, you know, he's two hundred and fifteen pounds. We can only be so slow and so unathletic. Um, so I think with like average vanilla white guy, Jericho works his ass off in WrestleMania. Um, the the only thing that would keep it from happening is Jericho being too sad that this mm -hmm. has happened to him, which I wouldn't blame him for. That this is his WrestleMania match. Yeah, but as long as as long as Jericho gives a shit, I think he can get three stars out of him. Don't, don't fucking look at me. <laughs> I, Kelly can't even give a rating. He's so mad. I I don't know what you want me to say. I, you don't have to say anything, Kelly. Just look into my eyes. Oh my god. <laughs> you should, yeah, be careful what you wish for. Okay, so the next one is a uh, 
a rematch of sorts. Not a WrestleMania rematch, but a rematch. Two mm-hmm. stars! Uh, the Easy. match is a no holds barred match with a stipulation. Yes. The stipulation features. I thought uh, no holds barred meant no stipulate, like nothing. No, there's no an, holds another barred, thing. There's an added stipulation. Basically, oh. basically a bet, a one sided bet. The match is Brock Lesnar versus Triple H. Uh, no holds and barred. If Trips loses, he has to retire. Career okay. versus nothing. Career versus I uh, lost the match. Correct. So, wait a second. So, in case... Wait a second! Okay. We're just trying to figure this out. Kelly's going to work this out. Generally, <laughs> if you have a match where something is on the line, is it something on the line with both parties? Like, if it's a mask versus mask match, or a mask versus hair match. Doesn't that make sense? Well, you'd think so. And it does seem like it's a bad bet to make. Like, alright, if, if you win this match, I'll quit. But if I win this match... Huh? Okay. It's a deal. <laughs> like, that's what happened. <laughs> if I win this match, then we both keep wrestling. <laughs> First one to finish is done. <laughs> so, yeah. I feel... So, just in case... Sorry to cut you off. Uh, just in case there was the slightest doubt as to who was winning this match, that stipulation basically sealed it. <laughs> yeah, Triple H is winning. Yeah. Because they're both going to keep wrestling. Yeah. Uh... I feel like I watched the first one and I did not think it was that great. I didn't see the first one. I've heard, if we're talking star ratings, which, whatever, pretty subjective, but I've heard everything from two to four and a half. Really? Depending on who you ask. I so, will say that that was a I have three. no idea. The first one was a three. Okay. I've heard nothing but bad things, so I don't know. I, I feel like No Holds Barred... Allows them to work around the fact that Trips hasn't worked a whole lot and Lesnar hasn't worked a whole lot. That Trips has worked four matches in the last five years. Yeah. Also, Lesnar is crazy. Lesnar is crazy. His last match with Cena. But it does seem like Trips and Lesnar have like a mutual r- friend agreement. <laughs> what is this? Buddy? Are any of those words? I well see the <laughs> friendship. Not the right word. Respect, I don't know if that's the right word. I, I know what you Love mean, Love of one another, mm, close. Professional courtesy? Professional courtesy, maybe. <laughs> like, yeah. Lesnar is an asshole, but they had a, he they had realizes a, that... Yeah, they had a good brawl on Raw. Yeah, yeah. and Lesnar got opened up in the back of his head. Yeah. Yes, and... Completely bloodied the ring post. Yeah, and Lesnar has done a series of hilarious things, actually. <laughs> he gave Vince an F5, he threw a couch on Miz... <laughs> <laughs> All awesome things. Like, Brock Lesnar can do no wrong. Like, literally every TV appearance he's had since, I guess it was the day after Mania yeah. last year, has been awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. When he, and everything uh, he's been involved in has been great, with the sole exception of the winner of his match versus Cena. Yeah. His match versus Cena was awesome, but he absolutely the wrong guy won. And I... Actually, what, sorry, I'm cutting you off again. Okay. The one thing that was funny was... Um, uh, Cena beat Lesnar one month, and I believe if you'll check the record books, lost to John Laurinaitis the next month. <laughs> Probably should have reversed those two. I, uh... I, I, I just remember when Lesnar came back his first re- match, your first day after Mania, and comes down to cut off Cena, sets him up for five, hasn't done a single thing to Cena, and Cena just dead. Like, yeah, see, yeah, Cena, Cena was stunned by going in a fireman's carry. <laughs> just doesn't couldn't... try and fight out yeah. of it, doesn't move, just gets picked up well, and gets f A little known fact about Brock Lesnar is he actually excretes <laughs> a paralytic poison <laughs> so as as from, his, from his trapezoids. So when you make contact with the, like, the back of his neck and shoulders, you those, are actually paralyzed until he gives you that F5. Those meat hook tattoos. Yeah. Yeah. Meat hook tattoos. Little, little known fact, but that, yeah. So now, it does does actually make perfect sense, so I, I will defend that. Did Lyronitis beat Cena with the Ace Fire? No, I don't think he did a single wrestling move. Oh. No, he pinned him after somebody... Something happened. Walked around. Somebody... Punk? Maybe Punk. Somebody ran in and beat up Cena, and then Lauren has been him. Just walked around going, I'm in charge here. I'm Pretty ch- much. I'm not Super Dave. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wasn't on Bizarre. <laughs> Good reference. <laughs> bizarre, Jesus. <laughs> anyone who gets that reference, anyone who has heard of the show Bizarre, fucking write us. 1-800-SUCKMYWOLFDIG at geocities.ca. 
Oh, you're throwing GeoCities at me now. Yeah. Going around. Not CA, no less, which I don't believe existed. <laughs> um, I feel like a no holds barred allows them to brawl, allows them to not have to work a real match. No. I think it will be fine. I think I don't think, do funny Yeah, things. I don't think I'm going to be amazed by this match, but the other match was a was a three. I'll give this one a three. I can't see Triple H taking a lot of bumps. Like, but if it's his last hurrah, he might take a maybe. few, but probably not anything like crazy. If, if you're working basically once a year, you can kind of go balls out. Yeah. Well, I, this is this is Lesnar's first Mania match since the Lesnar Goldberg match. Goldberg, yeah, that's right. And the thing that would make me the happiest is if it was worse than Goldberg. Was would be if Lesnar knocks down trips and goes to the top rope like he's gonna do a shooting star, <laughs> gets up there and then <laughs> flips, flips everyone flips off. off the crowd, gets down and just like just puts the boots to trips. That would be awesome. I like, would be so happy if that happened. That would be really awesome, actually. <laughs> Or if he just he didn't do that. He didn't do that versus. Star. Did he do that versus Goldberg? No. 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 But okay. Like, just because when he was against Goldberg, he was kind of like he just like care. whatever. Yeah. I'm out of here after this. Fuck it. I'm not even trying. Yeah. And but this one, like now that he's you know he established himself as like yeah, yeah. an asshole in the UFC. Now he's come back and he's yeah. kind of still got that attitude. Yeah. That would just be like that, every, yeah. Like he gets up there, but he's like, oh my god, he's gonna try it again, and then just like, no, fuck all you wrestling fans, like suck yeah. your dick. That that's get down, that's then, what would be seriously amazing. Oh, now, I would lose. Now I'm gonna shit. be kind of disappointed that, that doesn't happen. <laughs> what if he actually though hit the shooting star press? I don't know if he would try. I don't know. He wouldn't. But he I don't what? think Brock's doing those. WrestleMania anymore. nineteen, he would have been ten years. Twenty two. Four? Because um, he's probably about 34, 35 now? What was he? Yeah, probably somewhere in there. He's like mid he's 20s? Pro- mid 20s for sure. Yeah, he's probably, I think he's 35 or Yeah, and now he's now. close to yeah. 40. I can't see him trying that. No, he ain't trying that. Don't. <laughs> he also weighs a little more in the middle than he did when yeah. he was that guy. Yeah, no, that's, uh, don't get your hopes up for an actual shooting well, star. Well, he's got his hopes high. I would, I would love fake shooting star, though. That would be great. So I say three, Scott. Um, I think that I'm gonna I'm cautiously optimistic about it because in theory they can have a fun crazy match like Cena and Lesnar. Uh, Triple H is in theory better than Cena. Um, Not just in theory, he's better than Cena. Yeah, well, tri- I don't know tri- Triple H now because like eh. you know it's not Triple H ten years ago. I but still think he's better. Than Cena. I, I I still think he is too. Um, so and Cena Lesnar was like four and a half, four and three quarters. It was awesome. Um, so I'm, I think, cautiously optimistic. Uh, I'm going to go three and three quarters. I'll say three. All right. I'm, I'm nicer than you guys. Well, you just... You guys are jerks. You're more... I can't you're hoping give it more it than better. that when the stipulation is just one-sided. Yeah, I'm not sure why they did that. It should have been loser leaves town. Like that, like... You know, yeah. You either, whoever loses is gone. Yeah, and what's, what's dumb is they actually could do that because... Oh, no. You know, I was no because that they only could do it if Triple H lost and he's not losing, so it doesn't work. So no, they shouldn't have done it at all. Anyways, the next match up is the tag team title match, which will feature the champions of Team Hell No, Kane and Dan O'Brien, defending their tag team titles against Dolph Ziggler and Ryback. Yes, Big E Langston. Who I, again also believe this is his debut match? Has he it had any matches? Is his debut match? His I debut believe. match. Now, <coughs> besides NXT, obviously. unlike Fandango, 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 <sighs> uh, I have actually heard good things about Biggie Langston. Yeah, I've I've uh, seen Brian uh, Brian and Vinny were both very high on him. Yeah, they said that he was the best worker in FCW. Yeah, um, and that you know you should expect good things from him. Yeah, I've I, I've heard good things. I've heard he's like a really good big man, yeah. like really athletic big man. Yeah, um, he's what Bobby Lashley should have been. Yeah, um, more charismatic than like way more charismatic than Lashley. Yeah. Um, Dumbest gear, completely stupid gear, stupidest hair, completely stupid hair. <laughs> yeah. Other than that, the yeah the the bad like the bad like V like. Taz style singlet, which looks good on no one ever. <laughs> with, which which has like Jamaican with colors Jamaican colors for no and reason. like that Jamaican lion thing in the middle. Yeah, it's really weird. It's like he has like someone else's gear. <laughs> he bought it off of eBay. Yeah, and just used it as his gear. Like he bought he bought a. 
Kofi Kingston singlet <laughs> in his size. In his size. For some reason. And some super fan of Kofi Kingston. Just decided to wear that, yeah. No, no idea what's going on with the gear. But his finisher is fucking awesome. <laughs> and fuck you if you disagree. I agree with you. It is a motherfucking full body diamond cutter. <laughs> what? He gets you up on his shoulder like a running power slam. And then fucking body cuts your... sit Like falls back. And body cuts your whole body. Huh. It's amazing. <laughs> nobody gets up from it. Because he's, he's the whiz and nobody beats him. We got Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan. Ziggles. Say what you will about Daniel Bryan and how his career is going. This is the third consecutive WrestleMania he's been in a title match. For all for all three WrestleManias he's been employed. To he's, be fair, one of them... One of them... Doesn't really count. One of them doesn't really count. One of them went badly. Yes. So, um, track record in those title matches, not great. But, WrestleMania every year, Amdrag is holding a title. That's pretty cool. Um, anyways, Tanner Bryan, good. Ziggles, good. Yep. From what we've heard, Biggie Langston, good. Kane, bad. Kane? No, Kane's not. No, nah, he's I, bad. I like what he does in this group. I'm I think, sure. I think it's good to keep him, keep him working. Giving him some stuff to do. I think Glenn Jacobs has too, but, much, too much money. <laughs> the funny thing about this, He has been employed for too long. Is that I like the fact that after, like, the first run, they were like, hey, well, this is, you know, this is over. We need to we need to go and separate them. Yeah. And then after a couple weeks, you're like, oh, fuck, we fucked up. Uh, go back to there. Back, 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 back. Forget you were mad at each other. Yeah, they, now they've run for another like uh, several months. They've been. When did they win the tag titles? Like it could, was could a while ago. Do like, not remember. Like summer. Sure, I don't even remember they beat. I couldn't tell you for a million dollars who they beat. Ziggler and Swagger. No, they defended the no. titles against them. The yeah. new body Donis. Possibly. What the new, new body, body Donis? Who are they? Rob Conway and Batista. <laughs> Look, <laughs> Rob Conway, man with a job. Should we do, should we do a sidebar for Rob Conway? Oh, I remember this sidebar. Rob Conway. We discussed Rob Conway in California. Yeah, si- sidebar for Rob Conway. <laughs> All right. So, um, for those of you who like us are somewhat disenfranchised with WrestleMania and things like that, uh, I suggest you watch New Japan because it's awesome right now. Yeah. Um, they do an internet pay-per-view pretty much once a month. Um, actually, this will be the second one in about three weeks. Uh, they're doing it like the... Well, they have it the same day as WrestleMania, but because of the time difference, we get it the night before WrestleMania. So uh, so we're going to watch it and then uh, go watch the much worse WrestleMania afterwards. I'd like to do it in the other order, but whatever. Um, anyway, uh, they got... Like, they're... The main event is there. They're basically rematching their main event from WrestleMania, which is like the two best guys in the company for the world title, and it's going to be awesome again. Uh, but third from the top is uh, Satoshi Kojima, like, uh, you know, g- good worker, vet- veteran with the company. Um, and they were... <laughs> What, how, how did you put it, Drew? Like, when you're... Well, so, <laughs> my, my, what I said was, so when you're one of the biggest companies in the world... Yeah. And they're, they're definitely the second biggest company in the world. And you sure. you really want to get the fans involved. You really want to get them excited and pumped up for a title, fight, title yeah. fight. This is a pay-per-view. What you do is you want to go to the other company, the yeah. number one company, and get a lower-end jobber from their company to come feud with one of your biggest guys. So yeah, so Satoshi Gojima is challenging for probably historically the most important title of all time, the NWA World Heavyweight Title, and he will be challenging for that title against none other than Iron Man Rob Conway. <laughs> Just look at me, ain't I excited to see? The two things I remember the most about Rob Conway are his child muster mustache and his Randy Newman theme song. Yeah. Just look at me. Neither of which should have been a thing. <laughs> the whole damn world wants to look like me. But they don't. So just look at me. <laughs> that was like a Bob Dylan meets Randy Newman. Bob Bob Dylan with autism. <laughs> hey. Is Kelly autistic? <laughs> He's artistic. I remember Art- Toy Story, okay? <laughs> you stuck my dick. <laughs> yeah, so... Sidebar over. So that's... 
that's weird. And apparently they did like like a video challenge at their last pay per view, and the crowd laughed at it <laughs> because so they realized who the opponent. They was. also know who Rob Conway is, and that this is a joke. But at least we get to see Davy Boy Smith Jr. challenging for the Intercontinental Title, which should be interesting. That's awesome. There's a lot of inter- a lot of interesting white guy involvement on this show. Anyway, there's your sidebar. Anyways, back to this tag team match. Um, I I see some potential in this match. I I don't think it'll be horrible. I think it'll be watchable. And Brian and yeah. Kane do a good job yeah. of comedic wrestling. And while, while I'm interested to see uh, Langston, it would be awesome if Am Dragon Ziggles just got to go like 15 minutes on Mania. Yeah. But whatever, can't have everything. I I will give it a a reasonable three and three quarters of a star. Three and three quarters, so almost quarter. four. Almost four. All right. Mm. Entertainment value, it's up yep. there. Uh, give it two and a half. I'm pretty much gonna split your difference and go three. I think I think the three and three quarters is generous. Although you probably thought my three and three quarters was generous for Brock and Trips, so different strokes. <laughs> Next up, the... and and I'm like one of the biggest Andrag fans in the world, so don't think I like don't Dang like it. don't think I don't like him or anything. I know someone who doesn't like him. True. Is it someone that I'll be watching WrestleMania with? <laughs> you will be. <laughs> <sighs> Next up is uh, the match that I like to refer to as Brock Goldberg Two. This match will feature oh, no. Mark Henry ha! Uh, versus Ryback. Joey's <laughs> crying and masturbating. Bold prediction. I'm so happy. <laughs> Bold prediction. Best match on the show. Boldest prediction ever made. <laughs> it. Um, I have no hope for this match. Here's the thing. It's the unstoppable force means the immovable object. <laughs> That's pretty much the plan with it. And, yeah, the, the thing is, um, I don't know, Ryback's kind of entertaining and squashes. Um, Henry's pretty good. Um, but he's getting old. He's getting old. Henry, I don't know, but he, he had that good run, like, uh, it would have been a year and a half ago. Um when he and was for the re- for the record, that was his only good run. All you people who were on his dick in two thousand six, fuck you. He sucked then. Yeah, all right. He did. All you fucking Death Valley driver motherfuckers are like Mark Henry's the best worker in the promotion. Did you see that match with Kurt Angle? Fuck you. I he, did see that match with he, Kurt Angle. He ruined Royal Rumble. Yeah. You do not put that you know, match. You know after what? The Rumble. You know what I really want to see after the sixty minute Royal Rumble? Kurt Angle, Mark Henry for the world title. God damn you. No. Mark Henry had one good run, and it was for six months in 2011, and that's fucking it. Do you... Hey, uh, Kelly. Yeah? Your brother's Clay. I just signed you to the company. Uh, is this a story do I Do you told? have any ideas for a character you might want to do, or any well, story? here's the thing. I do have a character. It's gonna be this guy who's, like, this huge monster, right? And, like... He just tears apart the faces time after time again. And every time he beats up the faces, he's gonna like he's gonna do this thing where it's like he 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 inducts them into like this this uh, this hall of pain almost kind of thing. Well then you brought your Brodus Clay? Hey, Brodus okay. Clay. Okay. Hey, Brodus. Okay. Yeah. Can you dance? <laughs> uh, I can dance. Good. See you later. <laughs> Okay, but, but you guys did like the the monster thing, right? Uh, We're on the it's okay, we'll get, we'll, we'll get back to you on it. Okay, but I just I want to make. Okay, well you, you'll let me know though, right? Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll keep you informed. Okay, but you're like that's my yeah. idea. We're good. We're good. That, yeah, yeah. That, no, that yeah. idea is for me, I, right? I said it. Yeah, we gotcha. We'll, we'll oh, talk to you later. Okay, well, okay, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> just let me know when when this falls through. Okay. Okay. Hey, uh, somebody call my kid. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's exactly how that went. That was a good skit. <laughs> <laughs> I like. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> but you know that story, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Can you dance? Can you dance? Uh, uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> also, he was lying when he said he could dance. <laughs> He's not good at dancing. Oh, uh, okay. I. He's also not good at hand I, gestures. I am 100% behind Ryback, but one star. One star. Yeah, I'd probably go around with that. I, you know, uh, if Ryback, I, I don't know. I, 
I want to say Ryback will do something insanely stupidly <laughs> strong. So yeah, I they almost, could do some feats of strength, which could so be cool. Mark Henry does not weigh more than the Big Show. No. So I although he might be harder to lift than the Big Show. No, Tensai. He, he's he does. He does have. He weigh, I think he weighs more than Tensai. Mark Henry does have those pecs that go all the way around his, <laughs> <to> back. his <laughs> back. I will give it two, just because. Yeah. Yeah. The, they they could do something really fun if it was like them teaming versus like eight small dudes. Yeah. <laughs> Just, but yeah, like I don't know, like the two huge Kyle guys alone, little beaver. <laughs> <laughs> the two huge guys dynamic like rarely works. It's also not nineteen eighty four. Yeah, that's don't tell Vince that. Just, uh, don't I tell will that. to his face. Yeah, so I don't know how it's gonna go. Like, but then Vince will just be like, "God, I wish you were six five, so I could just slap you." <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's the really small potential that they could like way overachieve and like do something really fun. But there's the much more likely scenario that it's gonna be a whole lot of lumbering. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's I, I fear it's gonna end up not that good. So it's probably gonna be two. I got you. I feel you, dog. Um, next one up features the three main eventers that they had no main event match for, so they you forced betcha. them into a tag match. Yeah. This match will feature Sheamus, eh. Randy Orton, eh. and The Big Show eh. teaming up against The Shield, eh. uh, Dean Ambrose, well, did... Seth Rollins, and Roman Reigns. I like two of those guys. Two of those guys are great, actually. Yeah. Here's the thing. Have they even wrestled? Or Only... they just beat people down? Uh, they've, they've had two pay-per-view matches, and one. were they matches or were they just fist fights? No, they had, well, they were technically matches. They did. They had the TLC against Amdrag Kane Ryback, right? And then they had a six-man against uh, Cena, Cena Sheamus Ryback, I think. Um, both both matches were perfectly good. They were they were pretty brawly. They're um, pre- the di- they seem to be going with the dy- dynamic of like a pretty brawly match and then like sort of like a regular wrestling finishing sequence. Um, both were like I enjoyed both. I would probably give both in like the three and a half range. Apparently, me and the internet uh, are on different pages because the internet was saying both of those matches were like match of the year, like four and three quarters. I'm like. Wh- I must have not been Were these watching. voted on by Seth Rollins' mother? Maybe. Mrs. Rollins could have been involved. Interesting. But, yeah, like, after I saw like I saw them, I'm like, oh, those are pretty good. Like, I, I enjoyed it. Great. Move on. Like, don't ever need to see it again. Well, two... two and then I see, like, people going, like, four and three quarters, like, match of the year so far. I'm like, were we watching the same thing? Well, I think it's also, too, with the way that wrestling is, is it right now. Is just the is low standards? The low standards. I guess it's the standards. And, like, people I, people who watch wrestling now aren't used to the high quality that used to be. I guess, yeah. I, so. I, I always do try... I always try to have the same standards. I don't try Aren't to change them for fans. anything. But, like... It, it, and I'm not saying, like, WWE is incapable of high, no, high star matches. Seeing a punk on Oh, Raw, my God. Probably four and three quarters. Yeah. Power driver. It was amazing. Cena doing a no-hands Rana in the finish. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. It was so good. It was... Um, I'd have to go back and watch their their five star Money in the Bank 2011 match, but I, part of the reason that was five star is because um, like because mm-hmm. because of, of the heat and like the crowd and the sports entertainment stuff they did, but probably just the wrestling. The Raw match was probably just as good, if not better. Yeah. Like it was so good. So and like so and if I give that four and three quarters, I'm not giving a match I thought was eh, pretty good. I'm not giving that four and three quarters too. I'm giving it three and a half, three and three quarters. And that match told a good story too on Raw. Yeah, like it was, yeah. So, yeah. So I I don't know what the huge hype is about the the shield matches so far. I would I would love if this match happened to be what I consider four and three quarters. I would I would love that. I don't know if it's gonna be. It's pro well. Well, I- if you look at the one team, they've got two pretty good workers. Which which, which team? <laughs> oh, I mean Big Show and Randy Orton. No, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, Moxley and yeah, and and, and Rollins. Tyler Black. Tyler Black. Yeah. John well, Moxley, whatever you want to call them. They're, they're two. Like, D- D.M. Rose good. Seth Rollins good. R- yeah. Like, Roman Reigns not bad. Reigns is an okay he's big guy. He's the average Samoan. He's, he's in the right spot. He, yeah. like, 
I don't think he'd have a great singles match with anyone, but I think he does fine in, yeah. uh, in he, these things. He's the kind of guy that let the other two do a lot of the work. He comes in and just beats and down a guy stuff, and gets which, out. Which is fine. He's and he does and he does that well enough. Sheamus, fine. Orton, fine. Big Show, whatever. Orton is our uh, our number two number, number ter- two terrible face, terrible face on the show. Uh, we're, we're talking about this earlier as uh, <laughs> the uh, <laughs> from a few years ago the uh, Orton. DiBiase Rhodes three way uh, from whoa. Mania, which essentially was a handicap. Mania twenty six five uh, six six um, came up and we're like, oh, remember how fucking horrible that was? And Orton has been a face since then, three goddamn for years. three full years, and has hated every minute of it. He is the most miserable fucking face I've ever seen. He doesn't uh, even try. No, he doesn't even try. Was WrestleMania twenty six? Was that the one? Yeah. Yeah. Was that also the where we found out that Cody Rhodes was taking the injections to stop the Rhodes syndrome? Yes. <laughs> yes. Because everyone, the Rhodes syndrome is where you just get fat like Dusty, where you just balloon out. So Cody is taking daily injections. Dustin got fat too. Uh, sorry, yeah. no hourly injections. <laughs> hourly injections. <laughs> has to wake up even at night. Has to wake up every sixty minutes for his injection. Yeah. To ward <laughs> off gain two hundred pounds. Rhodes, Rhodes syndrome. Yeah. So yeah, miserable face, Randy Orton. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Er, like the worst guy in the match is Roman Reigns. Um, eh, Big Show. Big nah, his show's better than him, I think. Big Show will do big stuff. Yeah. He, he's got... Okay, here's the thing. Big Show can kind of do no wrong in my book, because he has a t-shirt of a bear. A bear. Yeah. <laughs> Punching somebody. <laughs> yeah. And, and, like, Big Show can work, actually. He's a perfectly good worker. And actually, one thing I'll say about Big Show, he's probably top five promos in the company. He is such an yeah, underrated yeah, promo. He's he a does. really good talker. Um, not that it applies to this match, but I would just say, like, he never gets credit for interviews, and he's good when he does them. Um, I will, as far as his wrestling, um, I'd say the finishing sequence of Big Show Sheamus from, I think, Hell in a Cell last year might have been the best WWE finishing sequence of that year. It was so good. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the match before it was 15 minutes of the slowest action I've ever seen. <laughs> so, on the whole, it wasn't a great match, but goddamn, the finish was so good. So, if, if Big Show just does something awesome for the finish of this, then I'm all for it. And, like, Orton can do stuff, Sheamus can do stuff, so... I, it, we are it also be pretty good. kind of expecting this to be the last face match for Orton. I think they're going back heel with Orton, and I think it's in everyone's probably best interest because Orton hates being a face. So, and he's like he's done nothing in like a year. No, basically. yeah, he hasn't had any major anything. Actually, more than a year. What, what was his WrestleMania la- match last year? Kane. Kane. Yeah, yeah, so he's done fuck all in over a year. Yeah. So pretty, yeah, pretty much nothing since the World Title feud with Christian. Yeah. Which yeah. was summer twenty eleven. Yeah. Yeah. We saw live. Which we saw live, and we're easily like. Randy Orton's like four best matches ever. Yeah. Uh, so what are you what are you giving it? Hmm. That's a tough. I I would say this has the potential to range from two and three quarters to four and a half. So I will give it three and a half. I'm just I'm gonna give it a straight up three. I know it's like it'll be fine, reasonable. but I just don't feel that it's going to be that entertaining. It's it's all gonna be how well the match is put together. I feel like it's, it's a going six man, to be six, six man's gonna have a lot of different. Dynamics. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna be the typical six man, which is Orton gets beat up, gets hot tag. Yeah, like Sheamus and Show Clearhouse. Like that's how I feel it's gonna be. Yeah, I just feel it's just an average three star match. Yeah, I go with the same. I mean, I think it does have potential, but that's I don't know. I, I don't I don't hold out a lot of hope these days for <laughs> yeah I hope um, the one thing I hope that comes from it is because I don't think they've really got to show it that much in the matches they've had uh, I hope Rollins and Ambrose get to show how good they are and mm-hmm. do some interesting stuff do some stuff yeah yeah I kind of hope they get gear instead I kind of hope they get gear shit. too I'm I'm done with the fucking SWAT team shit yeah 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 and it's WrestleMania everybody gets gear yeah everybody gets New Year yeah. Um, I'm getting new gear for WrestleMania. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so next one is Undertaker Punk. Stre- yep. Streak on the line. Um, every year. Spoiler. Streak isn't ending. Every year. 
the internet is full of streaks over, streaks over, streaks over. This is the year, guys. This is the year. They said it with Orton. Yeah. They said it with Mark Henry. They said it with Sean. They said it with Edge. Yep. They said it with Sean. Really? They said it for Edge and Henry? They said it for Triple H. This, I, I don't think a lot of people said it for Henry, but a few did. More said it for all of the rest of those people. <laughs> it, it's not happening. It's, it's not happening. Look, I understand that... Here's the thing. If this was like four years ago, yeah, it would make sense to me for Punk to do it. It'd be more because likely because that's if, a way if, if everyone get. was in the same position. If Punk was in the same position he is now four years ago, yeah, then potential. Yeah, because it puts him at the top. Yeah, like even though he's top. already at the top. Yeah, but now I mean, Punk's already done so much. He had the title reign. He's been a top guy for the last however long. Yeah. Like, Undertaker hasn't wrestled in a year. Yep. What's the point? Why would you end the streak? They're not. I. I'm, well, I'm saying I'm not saying they are going to. Yeah. I'm saying why would they even consider? Yeah. No. It? Yeah. It it doesn't it doesn't work for this. How sick is the Undertaker gonna look? Oh, he already looks horrible. He has a he has an upsetting face. Here, here's what I, here's what I who did I was I think it was you that I was talking to. You. Um, how how old was is Sting? Sting is 53. Uh, and how old's Taker? Like a little less. 49, like 49. 50? Yeah. He looks like... 100 years Undertaker old. Undertaker looks Sting. like he's in his 70s. Yeah. And Sting kind of looks like he's in his mid-40s. Sting looks like what he is. Yeah, like Sting looks fine. Yeah, Taker, Taker looks, looks 20 looks like years older than what he is. Yeah. He's got turkey neck. He's got like... His, <laughs> yeah. his eye sockets are in... Yeah, like the this the Sarah tattoo is now Sarah. Well, it's been gone. Well, yeah, but yes, I guess you're joking. But yeah, he looks horrible. He really does. And, yeah. he, and he, from what I understand, he's hurt. He's he's hurting. He's not yeah. like he doesn't have a specific no, injury. No, like the years, he just has like old man pain. Years basically. have caught up to him, and he's very sore. Yeah. Here's the thing. I can imagine this this match is going to be a lot of punk bumping. Yeah. A lot of fist pu- fist fighting. A lot of fist pumping. Fist pumping. <laughs> And, like, I can just imagine, like, Punk's gonna get tossed around. Yeah. Like, he, and, and, that's gonna be it. I, I don't, ugh. T- I can't see Taker taking anything. I hope it's not gonna be all that, I hope it's not gonna be a bunch of fucking... Restholds? Well, no, uh, like, Anaconda Vice fucking Hell's Gate bullshit. Cause I can't, see. I can't stand The Undertaker doing Does MMA Punk moves. really do The Anaconda Vice anymore, though? He, yeah, um, Kind of? Yeah, he, cause he brought it back. Wrong. Rec- oh, he brought it back to do on, uh, Rock. Oh, okay, so he's yeah. going to... He's doing it, yeah. He's gonna do it, yeah. He'll do it for sure. Yeah. Well, like, I can't stand The Undertaker doing fucking MMA moves. He, he's yeah. big evil, man. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like we've seen this match because they did have their feud on SmackDown when uh, Punk was champion. Yeah, their yeah their feud in '09, the feud where they, which was the first of several instances where they booked themselves into a corner with the Hell in a Cell pay per view, where instead of doing a Hell Hell in a Cell match at the logical point in a feud, they just have to do it in this October pay per view, and they happen to be in the middle of a Taker Punk feud, and they couldn't figure out how to have Punk win the Hell in a Cell, so he didn't, and Taker won the title randomly. Yeah. (laughs) So that was stupid. And then, of course, the more recent one was uh, Punk Ryback, where Ryback is on the win streak, Punk is defending the title in the Hell in a Cell, and they don't know how to have Ryback uh, not lose. So he lost. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't think he's won a match since, as a matter of fact. does not seem like he has. He, I, think, I think he's lost every pay-per-view yeah. at, at any rate. He's paying his dues. I guess so. But as far as I remember from that Taker Punk feud, it was fine. Yeah, they didn't have anything amazing, although I think Punk, I don't know, Punk in theory isn't a better wrestler than he was in 2009, he was just as good, yeah. but um, I don't know, he's he's just hotter now for whatever reason, and I, I think th- I think this is going to be the best Taker Punk match. Oh, and, he, and he's putting in 110%. Yeah. He's making this a match to remember. Oh no, you work once a year, you work your ass off, yeah. I don't care how hurt you are. Both of them are going to yeah. work their asses off. Well, yeah, well, punk, well, punk always works hard. And I, I, I do believe that this will be the best match on the card. I also think this will be the best match on the card. But I don't think it's going to be the levels of any other Taker match on any of the more recent WrestleMania. Of the recent ones where he's yeah, like the last pretty much killed it every year, six or whatever. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I'll see that it gets. It's God. See, it, 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 it could go anywhere from three to. four. Four and a half. Yes. I will say f- four. 
I will say four and one quarter. I I will also say four. Four. Yeah. Reasonable number. So, so we're all pretty optimistic yeah. it's going to be a good match. Yeah, we got high expectations for it, but not yeah. too high. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, no one's saying five. No. There is not a five-star match on this card. No, 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 no. Uh, the, oh, no, no, no. no. The, the next one on the list, but it will probably be the opener, yes. is the singles match for the World Heavyweight Championship, which is challenger Jack Swagger and his manager, Dirty, Dirty Dutch, Dutch Mantel, Mantel. Uh, against champion Alberto Del Rio, who is the third. Which brings us to our number three terrible face. Worst face. Uh, here's the thing. Alberto Del Rio has wrestled in Mexico for... More years than I can count. So, yes. <laughs> yeah. a, he, good, a good number. He was a top star in Mexico. He is the son of Dos Caras. He is the nephew of Mil Mascaris. He's got a good pedigree. Top level Mexican talent. Yeah. And top level MMA, MMA fighter. fighter. Yes. Uh, <laughs> he took the smart route of avoiding a head kick from Krogop. And took a dive. <laughs> and and, a dive. Uh, and fell down anyway. Yep. The best of both worlds. Um, <laughs> am I incorrect in saying that he is a fucking horrible worker as a face? He's not good. And he should be. Yeah. He's Mexican. Do fun Mexican yeah. stuff. Nope. Not happening. He's he's a Mexican who doesn't wrestle like a Mexican. He, I think because the, the, when, when, cause like he's not the standard Mexican size. No. He's, so no, the, he's he doesn't want him wrestling like that. Yeah. They want him doing it. He can still do it. He can, but I don't think they want yeah. him doing it. Because I, I actually, I was excited when he turned face, even though his actual face turn was god awful. Yeah. Um, I didn't even I, know he had turned face. Like, honestly, I did no, no yeah. idea. Um, but I was excited because I'm like, oh, he gets to do flashier stuff now. Great. Um, it's not happening. No. <laughs> no, it's, not at all. It's going badly. Yeah, it, it's... The thing is, I just feel like he he's in the same boat as Orton, where yeah. I just feel like he doesn't want to try to be a face. Yeah. Speaking of which, this fucking world title booking came out of nowhere. Like, this was not the plan six months ago. Well, Swagger wasn't even on TV. Swagger wasn't on TV a month ago. Yeah. He, like, his, his first match back was Elimination Chamber. No, I guess he had one match to get into Elimination yeah. Chamber. Yeah. And, yeah. Zack Ryder. I, th- I think it was Zack Ryder. I think you're actually right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the plan six months ago was Orton Sheamus for the title. Yeah. So I don't know what the fuck happened. I don't know who pissed off who. But Orton and Sheamus are in a random six man. Like I don't know. Shame, Shame and H Bear went on the same page. It's sort of a high profile six man, H-Bear. but at any rate, now the guy's in a world title match, and then yeah, then because because Big Show was the champion, and they figured Big Show was losing to Sheamus or Orton or something, and then randomly loses to Del Rio, and then we're like, okay, is it, is it going to be Del Rio, Sheamus, Del Rio, Orton? Someone's going to turn heel, I guess, and then oh, Jack Swagger's in the mix at WrestleMania. Am I... good, good wrestler Jack Swagger at Am I incorrect in saying that Jack Swagger is a fucking horrible worker? Here's the thing about Jack Swagger. Jack Swagger has the most unrealized potential in wrestling. If Jack Swagger, like, got to work indies in Japan for a few years, I think he'd be great. Because he's athletic, he's strong, he could do all... He could be, like, a cool, like, um... I don't know, kind of a Doug Furness type guy, or Steve Williams, or Steve Williams. Like he could be awesome. Like in the like in the right, I guess New Japan. I'm trying to think where what Japanese fed he'd be the best, and probably New Japan just because it's the best fed right now. Um, he'd be, he'd be great, and if he got to learn other styles and work other styles. But the fact he's been like brought up and only ever known WWE, know. he'll never be good. Yeah. I feel like being brought up in the E system. Doesn't benefit you. Well, no, because they're not training you to be a wrestler. No, well, that's the, the thing. thing is, There's nothing worse than like only ever knowing. I feel like WWE. their understanding is that if they train you to do what they specifically want you to do, yeah, in their mind, you're going to succeed. Yeah, because you only know them and you're doing what they want you to do. Mm. But the fact of the matter is, if a lot of the top guys now are all guys who learn their trade and how, elsewhere. How, yeah, and how are they not realizing this? Yeah. Oh, all these guys that are getting... Like, they never thought... They did, but they eventually they realized it a little too late. Right? Yeah. Because, I mean, they signed Claudio how yeah. many years after Claudio was the best wrestler in the world? Yeah. They signed Chris Hero how many years after Chris Hero was the best wrestler in the world? Yeah. They just realized now that El Generico is that great of a wrestler? Yeah. And are currently oh, in the process of fucking him up. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Give it a couple years, and he'll be out of, out of the company. 
Da- yeah. Danielson had how many tryout matches before? Oh, yeah. For Danielson's like first years? tryout match was 2003. With Jamie Noble? Uh, yeah. 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 Or Punk? And he got signed in 2009. Yeah, and Punk, yeah, and yeah, list goes on. And, yeah, it, it's it's crazy. And I don't know how they don't how they haven't been able to, or for the longest time weren't able to figure out that the guys that are doing well and like the crowd responds to are the guys who aren't your fucking cookie cutter FCW shits. Yeah. Like nobody wants Mason Ryan. <laughs> well, look at Alex Riley. Yeah, he Alex really disappeared. Alex Riley, perfect example. Just bullshit. Nothing interesting about him. The most average wrestler. Like he's, yeah, yeah. He's sure. Yeah, he's in shape. Yeah, he can he can sort of bump, he can do moves, whatever. He, yeah, but he's the most average worker. Nobody wants Mister Two Stars. Yeah. No, and that's what all those. That's what they. If if they have complete say in how a guy works, that's what they produce. They all produce Mister Two Stars, and it, it's it's worthless. And I, I don't know why they're so intent on training guys they the way they train them because they all end up at best Jack Swagger. Yeah. Yuck. I mean, there was. I'm sure there's exceptions to the rule. Th- there are exceptions like uh, Haas and Benjamin. Haas and Benjamin. But um, uh, uh, Haas worked indies. Did he? Did he? Yeah. Okay. Ha- uh, Charlie Haas was a CZW tag team champion. Uh, really? Yes. Oh my god. Fact. That's ridiculous. Keep yeah. finding. Shelton Benjamin. Sh- Shelton, yeah. Was was Lesnar developed? Shelton, yeah. Lesnar, yeah. Angle, yeah. Yeah. I wish Angle had worked ECW. I, I wish Angle hadn't gone to the ECW show where they crucified okay. Sandman and he refused to ever work there. Yeah. <laughs> but I guess it turned out okay for him besides the whole going crazy thing. Yeah, yeah, and getting Paul Orndorff syndrome. Whatevs. <laughs> but there are a few, like, uh, Bobby Lashley. Yep. yep. There's an underachiever if you ever saw one. Ugh, God. Jesus. The man is huge. Matt Morgan. Oh, Matt Morgan. Uh, poor Matt Morgan. <laughs> the tragic story of Matt Morgan. Hey, his genetics are in space. That's true, they are. So are mine. I <laughs> jerked off in the space shuttle. <laughs> Just floating around. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. This is the... This is the, on paper, the least star power in a world title match in the history of WrestleMania. Even since they've done two on every show since... 2003. I am not very optimistic for this match. I feel Nor like, I. I feel like I'm going to hate it. Yeah. I'm going to hate every single second of it, unless Ricardo does something awesome. Yeah, by the way, the... Um, oh, yeah, Ricardo is a better wrestler than... Ricardo is a better wrestler than the world champion, than the and, guy he's and, managing. And the challenger. And the challenge. No, the, be- the best wrestler um, in the ringside area will be Ricardo Rodriguez. Um, the most... Inter- followed by Dutch Mantel. Followed by Dutch Mantel. Yeah, the two people I like the most are the two people not wrestling. Uh, the Like, literally the only positive out of this entire thing is that Dutch Mantel is getting a WrestleMania payday. Number two. Number two. After... <laughs> Ma- managing the Blue Brothers. After managing the Blue Brothers in 95? Sure. I think. Jacob and Eli. Jacob and Eli Blue. Yeah. Good guys. Uh, ugh. I feel like I I feel like one star is too little, but I also don't have optimism that it's going to be good. <laughs> that it's going to be more than so one star. I will say that it is a one star with the potential to be a one and a half. So same level as the eight person mixed tag. Yes. And that's yeah. a title match. And it's a world title on match. Me. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what to do with this fucking match. I will also say one and a half. Yeah. I technically said one. Well, I will say one and a half then. Because I am the nicest man in the world, I will give these two guys who do not do much for me the benefit of the doubt because it's WrestleMania and in theory they will work hard and they both have some potential to do something okay that they might have a two-star match at WrestleMania. Very generous. Very, very generous. For the, for the record, it's pretty sad that it's like it's a reach to be saying that this world title match will be two stars. Like, <laughs> a world title match at WrestleMania should be more than two stars. It should be expected to be more than two stars. 
But no, here's where we're at. We're we said one, one and a half, and two. So an average rating, an average potential rating for one and a half that nobody's really arguing with. Yeah. Because this sucks. Well, that's what you get when you don't book well. Yeah. Well, and finally the main event, which we saw is a rematch of last year. Twice in a lifetime. Twice in a lifetime. Uh, unless there's three. There probably won't be three. Prove it. Well, next year's already booked. Prove it. What do you want me to do when you say that? I want you to prove to me that this match won't happen for a third time. Do you want me to grab your forehead with my thumb and pinky and show you the future? Because I can and will do that. Well, show me on Kelly first. <laughs> show me on the doll. <laughs> 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 Did you do this? Uh, <laughs> oh, visual humor. Yeah. Uh, of course, the match is The Rock defending the WWE Championship. I keep forgetting that The Rock is the champion. Against John Cena. I seriously keep forgetting that. Well, Kelly, are you glad to know that they got rid of the spinner belt? Well, I saw the new belt, and it's just as terrible. It's, so it's not no, the no, no. Belt. It's better than the spinner. It's not the spinner. Belt. It's not great. It's better than the spinner. Okay. It is true. way better. I don't than like the, the shape of it. I'm I'm not crazy about the shape. It's a li- It's still a little gaudy, tacky. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's so much. Better it's than not the spinner. The spinner. I, I, you, I, you will never catch me complaining about this belt as compared to the spinner. Okay. It's way better. That's fair. I'll yeah. Say that. The spinner was a piece of shit. The spinner was worse than the than the divas belt. The Bratz accessory. The Bratz. The Bratz accessory. <laughs> so yeah, this match. <laughs> what do you make of this? <laughs> Can it be worse than last year's? When I'm trying to remember the last time I left a Mania main event feeling good. Wasn't last year. Certainly wasn't the year before. So it was the year before that. It was Taker... Wait, was the year before that Taker Sean? Yeah. yeah. So that was the last good main event. Yeah. Because it was Cena Miz and Cena Rock the last two years. Yeah. yeah. Both, uh... Yeah. Well, and like, one doesn't count. And one yeah, wasn't, wasn't good. <laughs> yeah. Because... I don't know about you, but I like to leave Mania, or I would like to leave Mania, like feeling good about it. Like, if you watch a movie, and there's some pretty good stuff in the middle, and the ending sucks ass, then you don't leave the movie feeling good. Nope. And it's the same thing with WrestleMania. The last two Manias, I've, I've been, like, angry <laughs> leaving. I'm, that's not what I want out of... A pay per view. I'm pretty sure the last experience. two after the pay per view, I said, "Well, that's the last, last. WrestleMania I watch." <laughs> yeah, because I'm retarded. Like, come on, <laughs> give me something good to watch. And uh, what I was say about The Rock is because I was actually super stoked for Rock Punk at uh, Rumble at Rumble, and I thought I thought it was fine, but it definitely underachieved from what I was expecting. Maybe I was expecting too much, but Punk was on a serious hot streak, and Rock, I thought, would be really fun with someone as good as Punk, and, it, you know, it was probably three and three quarters, and I was expecting four and a half, mm-hmm. if we're talking stars. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I thought their... I think... I might be in the minority. I, I thought their Elimination Chamber match was actually a little better than... Um, than the Rumble match, but most... I didn't see it. From, didn't see from it. what I see from most people, they seem to like the Rumble match better, but I would... It, not like it was a huge difference. Like, I, I would give the, the Rumble three and three quarters and Elimination Chamber four. But I, I did like it a little better. But, um... Uh, John Cena is... <laughs> I, I, newsflash. Uh, not as good as uh, CM Punk. <laughs> so, That's news to me. This I know. I hate to be the bearer of such news. I am shocked. I know. Uh, so I don't think this match is going to be as good as those. Uh, th- so yeah, so, so this match isn't going to be as good as those underachieving matches, which is never a good place to start. Also, we've seen Rock Cena before. And uh, Cena was... I hope that's not the case for two years in a row, but Cena was particularly bad in that match. Yeah. yeah. It, it, it's like he was trying too hard. Yeah, he he was bad by his own sloppy standards. He yeah, was like he his... botched quite a few things that he shouldn't have botched. Yeah, like weird like stuff. Like he jumped too, like 
when you like the, the the leg drop off top of the rock. The leg drop was a mess. In, instead of jumping like straight out, he jumped like slightly to the right. Yeah. So that he landed like on the rock's shoulders. Yeah, and sat on him. And then he he ass bumped on a hip toss. Yes. Oh my god. Which I I I think I stood up and yelled at the TV. And like, d- don't get me wrong, I'm not like super Cena hater. Uh, I. I subscribe to the theory that he's not a real good wrestler and a very good worker, if that makes any sense. Sure. Um, like he he works super hard. He just he, he's not technically good. He's not super. He's not super coordinated, basically. But he um, he pl- he places everything right, and he he can definitely work a match very well. As evidenced by like the punk matches, like yeah. John, John's like, <laughs> well, not, you know, it's in, it's one guy's rating, but John Cena has had more four star matches than Brian Daniels. <laughs> Sorry, did I say four? More five star matches than Brian Daniels, <laughs> which is baffling. <laughs> but the way I look at it is, like Cena has in like the last like I don't know year or so, they sort of ran that gimmick where he was admitting that he only does four moves. Yes. Unless you count a shoulder tackle, yeah. then he does five. Uh-huh. So I, I feel like the reason he's not a good wrestler is because they don't want him to be a good wrestler. Basically, and they was, want him to be a good entertainer. Yeah. Kind of the same thing happened with Steve Austin when you think about it. Yeah. Because like mm-hmm. he was technical guy, and then basically stopped doing wrestling moves. Yeah. They when just wanted got, him to be a beer popular. drinking brawler. Yeah, like he just brawled. Like he, you would, you know, stop in a mud hole. Maybe once every couple of pay per views, you might get a suplex. Otherwise, it's punch, kick, punch, kick, stomp a mud hole, stunner, yeah. fez press. Once, once he became three sixteen. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, basically up until three sixteen, he was still doing some yeah. stuff. Yeah, but like, but one, yeah, like once, once he, he gets super like popular, hugely popular face, yeah. he stopped doing wrestling moves. Yeah, that's true. He just became. Like a, like that, a an actor, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. it's like the, it's like you know, once you get that popular, you don't need to work. You can yeah. just go out there and it's, they'll love you, whatever you do. Essentially, you know? yeah. So yeah, so that's kind of the thing with Cena. Only he's he, he just wasn't as good to start with. So yeah, so, but but that said, Cena's capable. He's capable of a really good match, and The Rock is good. Um, although I th- I think I've actually I've overrated. The Rock's ability since um, returning his initial comeback match in that tag at Survivor Series because he looked awesome in that. Yeah. Like he was so far and away the best guy in that match. Although the other three were Cena, Miz, and Truth, um, <laughs> which it, talk you know good match to come back for after six years. Cena, Miz, and Truth. Um, but I think it's because like Rock basically just got the hot tag and got to like fire up. He didn't have to work a twenty five minute match, which is a lot different. And the the longer matches Rock has worked have all been less than what I was expecting. Like I thought him and Cena would be eh, pretty good, and I thought and it ended up being what I consider bad. Yeah. And then I thought him and the him and Punk matches would be awesome, and they were just good. Yeah. So um, yeah, not. A ton of faith going into this. Yeah, I incredibly. Uh, I expect it to be exactly the same as last year. Yeah, I um, don't think I expect anything. Yeah. better. I don't expect anything worse. I wonder. Maybe like I. I think there might be a little less botching. I you you gotta think so. Right? Yeah, like I can't imagine that he's he's not gonna fuck up the leg drop. He's not gonna fuck up a hip toss. Yeah. Oh, and the one the one thing I got he he straight up did not jump on a rock. Oh bottom. yeah, that was the that was one of the biggest yeah flaws in that match. Just watching Rock deadlift him and yeah. then taking an awkward bump on yeah. it. Yeah. So in theory, you know, benefit of the doubt, guys. Please don't prove us wrong. Move execution will be better in this match. Yeah. In theory. Yeah. It, so it, that's one thing. It should be a slight improvement on last year. Yeah, what would what would you give last year star rating? Three and a half, maybe. Yeah, I'd. Yeah, I I might go I might go three. Yeah, I was gonna say I was thinking between three and three and a half maybe like three and three quarter three and a quarter yeah. like not. 
Entertaining, yep. sure, but not yeah. a standout great match. No, and a lot of bad stuff. And especially because I was expecting a lot from The Rock. Yeah. And he was all right. It was mostly Cena. Yeah. I'd say anywhere from two and a half to three. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it, it wasn't real good. That was another one where ratings from like different reviews I saw were all over the map. Two to five. It, yeah, it was legit. Like two to... Two to yeah, four and a half? Four and a half. Yeah. Yeah, I was like... I don't know, like, I was trying to figure out, like, people's justification for four and a half. Like, yeah, it's mainly event, mainly main event, maybe you, maybe you really like both guys, but I don't know, like, if that's four that and a half... It doesn't mean anything. I really like Lesnar and Goldberg, and that wasn't a <laughs> five-star match. Yeah. That was a one and... That was, you know what, that was a half a star. Yeah. Like, if, that, if that's four and a half, that doesn't leave a lot of room above it, and... <laughs> There's so much above it. There's stuff above it on that show. Yeah. So, yeah. So then I get, as far as this one, um, yeah, what to do with this? I, uh, well, if I'm, if I'm staying consistent, I don't think it'll be, uh, I don't think it'll be as good as Taker Punk, and I don't think it'll be as good as uh, Trips and Lesnar, and I think I gave Trips Lesnar three and three quarters, so I think I'm going to go with three and a half on this guy. Well, if I'm giving last year's three and a quarter, then I'll give this one three and a half, because I think it will be a little bit better because it won't be as sloppy, but again, I don't think there'll be anything different. But it'll be much the same otherwise. I feel like it'll be similarly worked, I can't imagine them working in too many new crazy things. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm trying to think, because if I was them, I'd want to do something considerably different than last year, but, like, what the hell are they going to do? Yeah. Neither one of them's taking a crazy bomb. Yeah. No... Oh, Rock certainly ain't. Yeah, like, nothing is going to happen. Yeah, keep in mind that Rock doesn't need to be doing this. He's doing this for funsies. Yeah, so I, I can't imagine it being any different than last year, so it'll be slightly yeah. better. So Also, happen. interesting thing, Rock is booked for the next pay-per-view. Yeah. So, so win or lose, he's grappling? Yeah, well, he's losing. I know. But, <laughs> but I'm trying yeah. to stay in the kayfabe world. Sure. Uh, I will say... I'll say three, but I I don't see them doing like you said anything different. I feel like it's going to be some recycled stuff from the previous match and the same kind of like bullshit at the beginning where it's like they kind of like you know stare at each other and they stare up to the fans like ooh who liked Rocky better who liked Cena better that kind of thing, which yeah they did that I don't mind as much but they I don't know it's. It's, That's part of the entertainment. It's part of the entertainment factor, and and it's fine. But for me, it's like because I know how shitty their match last was. <laughs> I just I'm like I don't need you to do, like I kind of don't care for really either of you. <laughs> so yeah. for me, it doesn't really matter. But I guess it's part of the entertainment factor. But I just I don't see it. I I, I don't see them doing anything too much different. Nothing. See them doing anything crazy. Maybe things will be a little bit tighter than they were last time, but. I, that's my thing too. Is that I have very little faith in the E, very little faith to produce anything really that I would super like really like. They might yeah. they'll they'll surprise me from time to time, but I my expectations are so low because I'm just like I just don't have any faith. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's not like they're incapable of surprises. Yeah. Like Cena Lesnar last year, I I didn't know what to make of it going in, but yeah. holy yeah. shit, that was one of the best matches of the year last year. Yeah, it was awesome. And uh, at, at recording time, there has yet to be announced, but we are under the assumption that they will announce a women's match. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And Ka- Caitlin and... Probably Caitlin Eve, Eve or I guess. whatever. It'll be nothing. It'll be It'll, a yeah. star, star and a half. It'll be a woman's title match. Girls can't wrestle. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. <laughs> yeah, it, it's true. And uh, North American girls. North American girls. Jap girls. Wish they, they all can could grab. be North American girls. Uh, as long as they're not wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it'll be worthless. And C- Caitlin's uh, Caitlin's bad at wrestling. Yep. Um, Eve's Eve's not real good. So uh, yeah. do they have any? Who are their good women's workers? N- Natalia's pretty good. Beth Phoenix. Although Beth, she's gone again. Isn't Phoenix she? is gone. Yeah. Um, they have 
actually a lot are gone. Like a lot of people left. Eve Eve left and came back. Oh, wait, is Eve gone? I don't fucking care. I think Eve's gone. I don't give a shit. Yeah, it's women wrestling. Women's wrestling is. I don't know. Stupid. Who, I don't know who the fuck Caitlyn's wrestling. Actually, maybe she's not going to wrestle, and that's why they haven't she has announced no anything. Is Layla still around? Yeah, but she's a face, isn't she? Yeah, I think so. So is Caitlyn. Yeah, so I don't know. Uh, I guess Tamina Snuka is someone. Who gives a shit? I don't know. Can I just say Any one... potential match will suck. Can I say so. one thing? I am incredibly disappointed that the New Age Outlaws are not wrestling on WrestleMania. They I... actually should be. I yeah. actually thought they were going to. There's no reason they shouldn't be. Because they both are perfectly fine workers. Billy Gunn looks terrible, but... They can both you still work. You ruined my fucking life. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, we quote that a lot. But, like, Road Dog looks great. Yeah. Bill, I don't know. Bill, Billy's in good, pretty good shape. Yeah. He just, uh, he's, he's just clinging to that hair. Yeah. Like, he just has a ridiculous hairline. And, yeah. But I I was really disappointed that they weren't wrestling the Road Scholars. Yeah. That would, that, because they were supposed to wrestle them on Raw, weren't they? And then Lesnar beat the show. Yeah, Lesnar killed everyone. Yeah. Yeah. They really should do that. That's a much better WrestleMania match, actually, than yeah. the weird... Uh, Weird eight man. Well, we gotta get uh, we gotta get Naomi that payday, I guess. <laughs> and Cameron. Yeah, I think Naomi is the one who can work, and Cameron is awful. Well, Scott, I'm gonna tell you this right now. They're with black. I will never be able to tell them apart. Hmm. Cause they all look the same. Boo. They're both pretty fuckable though. To you. Yay. <laughs> and, and Kelly, cause he look, he's down with the swirl. Absolutely. <laughs> We've said this on multiple occasions. Yeah. This is. On, so on the record, we are in agreement that Undertaker and Cena, CM Punk will be the best match. Yeah, so we all seem to think there'll be one lower end four star match, and we're all in agreement that Del Rio Swagger will be the worst match, or it will be tied with the eight person tag. I think most of us had the eight person as the lowest ranking. Oh, I guess you had the same. I had the same. Yeah. So one of the, yeah, pro, I guess so. Um, the if Triple H Lesnar exceeds expectations. It has potential to be the second four star match on the show. Um, I don't think there's really potential for anything more, no matter what happens, uh, for there to be more than those two matches hitting four stars. Yeah. Um, do we know which who? Is too bad. Do we know who's singing the national anthem yet? Um, I maybe Jennifer I Hudson. Are you just saying that, or is she? I don't know, because she's married to David Otunga, and I automatically she, assume it's her. She's been married to David Otunga for all the years he's been employed. And Here's the thing. Done it yet. I respect him, because he married her when she was fat. Yes. Now she's super skinny, and he is the most jacked man I've ever seen. She should Now that she's skinny, she should leave him. No, because he's huge. And he would kill her? Yeah. Uh, I guess that makes sense. He is... He... Wait. Here's the thing. If, <laughs> if Kelly looked like David Otunga... Ugh. Hold on. Okay, I'm picturing it. <laughs> I don't have a finish to this story. Hey, I just want Kelly to look like David Otunga. You got a big neck now. Like you have that. to drink. You have to drink I, those I uh, finish. shake I things. I was that doing my drink quote. You got a big neck now. I like that neck. <laughs> that was so weird when I said that. <laughs> hey, Kelly Summers, you want to get nice? <laughs> yeah. It would be better if his name was Summer, because Tracy Morgan Summer. would still call him Summers. <laughs> yeah. Jay Moores. Jay Moores. You want to get nice? <laughs> um, so yeah, it's unfortunately not going to be a real good Mania, as has been the case since Mania 21. Our eighth straight not very good Mania. <laughs> eighth straight disappointment. Yeah. I don't know why they can't fucking get it together. I wish they could. I would like nothing more than to see an awesome Mania, which, if they, you know, if they booked everything... Exactly the way I wanted them to. <laughs> um, I could get behind it with their current roster. They have potential for like a chunk of good matches, but um, yeah, not so much. Was your so your second highest match is the tag title, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Question. I hope I, I hope it does better than I think it's going. Why to. for the third year in a row did we not get Rey Mysterio and Sin Cara Arras? <laughs> We're never getting it <laughs> because both of them. Because Sin Cara forgot how to work, and Ray can't stop breaking himself. And Ray's knees Ray's keep knees falling off. Are falling off. Yeah, <laughs> Sin Cara just suddenly decided to become like terrible. Yeah, I believe Sin Cara got his twelfth concussion a couple weeks ago. Nice. So yeah, he's so he's almost brain dead. He's really panning out now. Is it? Can we? Here, is it too much to ask for them to scrap the r Truth match, put Sin Cara and Cesaro on the pay per view? And just have them constantly reenact that one spot they did. 
Oh man! An entire match of that spot. The uh, power like bombs. the powerbomb power left bombs. into the sunset flip. Sonic, yeah. That was the cleanest I've yeah. ever seen that move yeah. done, and I've seen Manami Toyota do it eighteen thousand times, <laughs> and she's very good. But that was the best, and uh, and Hito Del Santo as well. It's like one of his signature spots, and I have never seen the move done that well. So I got to give all credit to Claudio on that. Now, is it that Sankara? Is terrible and he keeps hurting himself, or is it that no none no, of the guys can work his style and he keeps hurting? Charles himself? Guerrero could. Oh wait, no, oh, I, I'm sorry. Hold wait, on. he couldn't. Hold on. <laughs> if you mean correct, if by correct style I mean fake an ankle injury mid match that you don't get blamed for botching. <laughs> oh, oh, this is so bad. Oh, I better fake an injury. It's right here. Oh, it hurts. <laughs> oh, I'll finish the match though, but that was great. Um, yeah, I think it's a little column A and column B for um, for Mister Kara. Uh, he, yeah, it's weird, because in Mexico, and with, doing ev- wrong. with everything he was doing in Mexico, everyone who had heard of him pretty much considered him one of the best wrestlers in the world. And, uh, and then something happened. Now he's not even in the top 50 in the E. <laughs> yeah. J- <laughs> JBL is still a better worker than Sin Cara. I would agree. Yeah, I don't know. Why, is that why they took his trampoline away from him? They took his trampoline away. Well, they took his trampoline, away. trampoline away from because when he he went to do a spot that he's done ten thousand times in Mexico and he blew out his knee. Yeah. Mm. Oh man. Yeah, it it just has not worked out because they were gonna sign Averno as well. I think it was they like d- or did they? I think they. No, I don't know. I could have sworn that they did. Yeah. And like, then they just never... Yeah, like, ah, oh, fuck it, he can wrestle Ray. He was, like, one of Mystico's, like, major yeah. foils in uh, in CMLL. Um, so they figured they'd bring him in. But, like, within a month of Mystico being on WWE TV, they're like, uh, let's, uh, let's hold off on this for a minute and see if this uh, is actually as bad as it looks. And then and, let's uh, put yeah, another let's... guy under that mask and then have a nice little feud. Oh, yeah, that too. Hunico's really good, actually. He's a bad. Yeah. He's bad. He's just NXT now, right? He's Better. Doing Hunico, Epico. Both good. Both underrated, actually. Um, Hunico's probably better than Epico, but I, I, like, uh, I like both colognes, mainly because neither is Carlito. <laughs> hey, uh... And, both, and neither of them wrestle like they're underwater. Carlito, we need to put you in rehab because you're doing too many drugs. Fuck oh, you. Oh, no, no, no. I'll just quit, thank Fuck you. Fuck you, I quit. <laughs> I need my... No, Carlito, you, you're you misunderstanding. We'll pay for your re- rehab. Oh, no. I know what you're saying. Yes. <laughs> I quit. I'm out. I spit I'm in, out. I spit in the face of people who want to put me in rehab. <laughs> yeah. How did we get on Carlito? <laughs> what, what, I don't know. What happened? Anyways. <laughs> I, I hope everybody listening uh, didn't stop listening ten minutes in when they realized it wasn't about movies. This ain't no movies. It was about graps. This has been a WWE Films production. <laughs> Um, Kill me and <laughs> in, in, enjoy WrestleMania on uh, week tomorrow. Try try to enjoy <laughs> WrestleMania. I uh, you I, won't. I don't make any promises. You won't enjoy. Just it. hope that hope that Taker Punk is really good is all I can say, <laughs> and that it saves the show basically. Um yeah, and uh, let's see. As always, um, the E incorrectly pushing Sean O'Hare is a shithead. Oh man. Good call. Um, WWE Films is a shithead. (laughs) 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 (laughs)